Delighted to be joined this evening by a genuine Derry City legend, Peter Hutton. Peter um, coached at many levels, senior level mostly, and now with the Derry City Academy. How different is this job? <laughs> it's very different uh, than working with adults as such, you know, but it's very, very enjoyable. Uh, I'm really enjoying it. Myself and Ryan Coyle we, and Aidan Campbell, we came in last June, I think it was. And, uh, but uh, so far, it's been really enjoyable. We play in the National League uh, under 15 age group. Uh, Derry have uh, representation both the under 14s, 15s, 17s, and 19s. Yeah, there's a lot of still good potential coming through. As you say, Derry is really a hotbed of football and talent, uh, as is on the periphery of Derry as well. Uh, around your Straban areas and things like that and Dungiven and stuff so yeah we try and tap on there as much as possible even especially through Donegal we've always had good representation throughout the, the academies and, and with Donegal personnel too. Whereas if he has his back to you that's why you need to keep up there keep him up there and force him away from goal you can't afford to back off to give him time and space to turn and have the shot. It's one of the big things of this job. I, yeah, it's managing not just the expectations of the young boys, the, the, the players, but also probably managing the expectation too of parents. Because uh, everybody thinks they're the next big thing and once they get into the academy, it's, they, from them, it's hard for them, they don't realise that the hard work is just about to start. Yeah, well you try and create that pathway for them. if. Ideally, what we would like is as many players coming through and representing Derry City, but that's realistically not always going to be the case. Uh, so what you try and do is build up relationships with clubs uh, and also all our senior clubs around the, the North West area, like the Institute and Coleraine, Van Herbst and that too. So they have uh, all our options too if, if it doesn't work out from here at Derry. Good, good. Well done. Unlucky. We work with the 15s all season and then come the end of the season there's almost like an, a, a sit down with the, the 17s coaches and the parents of the 15s as well and then between ourselves and the coaches of the 17s uh, we sort of have a good conversation in regards to who's ready at this stage in their, in their development to push on to the 17s. Well ideally yeah you would like them all to but realistically that's we appreciate that's not going to happen but you try and get as many as possible to, uh, to go through but again I think the, the 17s it's, it's a far more competitive whereas the 14s and 15s is still very much about development whereas the 17s and 19s is very much more competitive. We're joined now by another member of the under 15 coaching staff Brian Coyle known to most Derry City supporters as the man, he doesn't like this mention, who scored the winning goal for Derry City against Celtic in the Quadrangular Tournament in 1997. Ryan, you're very welcome. Thanks for having us, Lawrence. Thank you. Ryan, in terms of the setup now, this is your first coaching role at Derry City. How are you finding it? You're obviously aware of the responsibility that's placed on you. There's, there's a lot, a lot of talent there behind me, and that they're good players with bright futures, and the hope is that you want to see them fulfil that. You know yourself, he's Mr Derry City, most appearances um, for the club, he's a professionalism personified, you know that Kenway, and he does everything and he's trying to impart a lot of that and that experience on the, not just ourselves, like, but the, the kids as well. Oh, this, this is unreal, the, the, the best sort of knowledge. Um, the best structures in place, you've got better facilities, um, you've even things like, like you know, VO where, where teams go back and watch their, their games, you can point out, you know, spot and correct, you know, certain elements of the game and uh, it's all for the betterment of, of the, the, the youth now and uh, players coming forward. Do you know, whenever you said about talking about that, there's a balance to be struck between their progression and also making sure they enjoy it. Um, because the statistics would so, sort of suggest that not everyone's going to make it, but if they come out of here a better player, a better person, um, and a wee bit wiser to the world, then we've done a, done a good job. We're joined now by Derry City's under-15 goalkeeping coach, Aidan Campbell. Aidan, can you give us a wee bit of background into your, your own... 
uh, CV? Uh, it wouldn't be as, as, as illustrious as the two boys, but um, I played a bit uh, foreign. I was on a way in Australia playing for a year and a bit. Um, had another couple of uh, trials and stuff in England. And, um, then I was on a reality TV show as well, training with LA Galaxy as well, in the Herbalife Stadium as well. So I have a wee bit of a, a CV, but not as much as the boys. I say it's, it's a great level they aspire to for the boys watching. They see that there's a, a target there, a sort of profile they, they fit under. Um, you look at your likes of Neuer was maybe sort of the, one of the first to do it. Um, but it's come on leaps and bounds now. You, you look at keepers and they are sweeper keepers constantly. You, like they have to be working with their feet. Um, a lot of our coaching here um, helps them with their distribution, their feet. Um, things that people probably don't really think about anymore. Um, so there's that positional sense where they have to be aware of what they're doing, constantly on the move and, and being tuned under what they're what they're doing and what's going on in the games and uh, the role Brian plays with Eric at is phenomenal. Um, he's doing really well um, and it probably goes down to the coaching he's getting as well. I know a lot of work went on them last year, but this year is obviously a great deal more. Um, it's distributions second to none. That's what I was telling the boys if they're watching. Like there's. A massive onus on, on, on both feet. Like it's it's already right doing one thing with one foot, but you have to be equally as good like Brian with the two feet. So um, we had a couple of keepers up training with him last year. Uh, Kono was up there, um, and he said the, the step up and getting that experience is just brilliant. And just finally, Ryan, 1997. Did you mean it or not? Uh, I, I did. And actually, the man standing behind me, I was actually had thoughts because that year before he was a top goal scorer, he could finish. And I was just about to you know, lay it on them, they, they, they strike it. And I thought, I'll never get this chance again. And I, I thought, you know what, why not? And I, you know, so there you are. That was that like.